Hello everyone. Our topic today will be on print F. I got some some of my friends in area asked me to make the video, so I decided to make it this morning and it should be short. For a better understanding of this video, I advise you to first of all um study there is this I have not made a video on variety functions, but I'll advise you to make a thorough study on variety functions. It will help you to have a better understanding of this video. Okay, this video is going to be short. And again, um, you know, as a newbie in LX, some people might be frustrated about making a printf because you already already have a printf function. So you'll be like, ah, why would LX ask us to make another printf function? You get when I was new in LX, I was kind of frustrated when I when we, when I saw the task, I was kind of frustrated. But in the long run, I came to understand that LOS was just trying to make us be creative. Again, they want us to be creative. And it has really, really helped me. Yet, you, you will notice that when you enroll in other coding classes, you understand that you flow well because LOS will, kind of, will harden you. Yet, it will harden you very well so that when you enroll in other ones, you will find it very, very easy. Yet, so, this class you're going to make a print the video will be a short one i'll just give you guys a rundown of it because i have other engagements i lecture as well and i have other coding classes so i'm just making this video because of some requests from my request i got from my friend that the class that there is a task print of task so i want to give you guys a rundown so if you don't understand this video better because there will be terminologies i'll be using in these videos if you don't understand it you have to watch videos on variadic functions for better understanding so this making of printf first of all let's create a directory let's name our directory printf let's create a directory let's name it printf so let's navigate to it printf so we are in our printf directory so this to make a printf we all know what printf is to get Oh no, that a printf is that it's in C, it's also called print formatted. The F there stands for formatted. Printf in C sends formatted output to STD out. You get. So to create a printf, to create a printf, you will need, we need this, there is this, what is called parser. You get. These are all the things that runs with a compiler. It runs with a compiler. If you, Want to gain more knowledge of what parser is? I'll just give you guys a brief introduction of what it is. I will put a link to a resource you guys can read about it. I'll put it in my in the comment section, and also put a link. I also post my codes in the comment section for so that you can always go through it. Then, in computer technology, a parser is a program that usually is usually a part of a compiler. And it receives input in the form of a sequential source. Then parser, this parser you see breaks the input they get into parts such as nouns, which are objects, verbs, which are methods, and their attributes of functions. Then a parser may also check to ensure that all the necessary inputs have been provided. So to create a print F, you have we have to create a file, a parser file. But let me create an entry file first. Let's name this. Parser, let's name it parser.c. Then we also create, we have, we need to have a main.h file. Let's create a main.h file, which is our header file. We will create a main.c file. Main.c, let me click all at once. We we'll create a main.c file. We know that we have to create a file, a printf file, because we're creating our own printf. So we will create our printf file that we have our printf function. So printf dot c so we also create a put cow file because a put cow file put cow dot c so we have in total we have one two three four we have five files in total we're going to so going to create a file let's we name this file elements dot c because you know in printf let's create this file first let's create this file let's name it elements C. You know in printf, let me let me let me just open this element.c first. Let me show you guys element.c. You know to use 
printf. I don't know why my system is sometimes it hangs. You know, in printf, let me let me let me first of all let me show you guys an instance. If you have what's happening with this? You know, our printf is in this header file, SCDI with a header file. So to print out something now, you print out goes like this. Let's say you want to print a number. The number is this 18. No, you want to print a number. You can say this is a number. Number, say equal to SMD. Then here we have the number 18. You get it. This percent D represents a number. We have percent I, which also represents an integer. We have percent C, which represents a character. You get. So we are going to create a file. The element dot C file. This um, element dot C is going to have a. We're going to have this element. We are going to. We're going to define our numbers. We're going to define percent. We're going to define character. We're going to define put everything. All these elements. We're going to define numbers both on signed int and Every, and even strings. You get because this is a string. So it's going to define everything. You get. So let's get started. I've already I will paste the code here in my Ubuntu and then give you guys a rundown and explanation because I have work. I need to go to work this morning. So I will just make it brief. But I hope you guys understand it. To have a better understanding of this, like I said before, watch videos on Periodic functions. It will help you better. So, from the prototype given in your task, so these are the prototypes. We have print numbers, and as you all know, that printf comprises of it prints, like I told you guys before, it prints formatted outputs to SD out. And from the example I gave you guys, you guys are already conversant, you already used to. Print a function, you already know how it works. You already know it's about percent the characters, percent C, percent D, the strings. You guys already know about it. So, yeah, from the people that you guys have print in numbers, this wheel created a function. We can go through the function that prints numbers. But I'm for better understanding of this code, you should have to um, have a good understanding of erratic functions. So, can take videos to for videos of variety functions for better understanding. Later on within the week I will also make a video on variety functions for those that if you can find a video you can check my check my um playlist check my page or go to my YouTube channel and check it. You can find my you can find a video on that by next week I'll make a video on variety functions. And while making the videos on this I also I'll make reference to this to get a better understanding. So this is this we print on sign in numbers and this we print this function here we print characters then this we print a string then this we print percents the percent d percent c you see this we print it this takes care of it then you know we have put car here I, like I told you guys that will be a put car file we have this this um, underscore postcard will be defined. Then we have the integer. You know, in this in, in integer, we made reference to the print numbers. You know, integer integers are numbers. So, int n n equal to print numbers. Here, the function was called the function in the function, and our, our first function was called which is these print numbers. So, then the next file we will create is we create like. We'll create a let's go to our print f dot c show you guys how the content of the file so this is our this is our print f dot c function so here you know we here we defined our print f here, which is underscore print f. We defined it here. And you know remember in the last in the last file I opened which is element of C. 
you know the prototype has this there is one for p, p underscore car one for p underscore string one for p underscore percent one for p underscore integer so here it was converted hey this is telling me that when this signifies the c which is string um character character is um, um c signifies character s signifies string percent you can see the symbol percent signifies percent and d signifies the integer also i i also signifies the integer so values as you guys should, like i said have to you need to have a lot of understanding of variable functions to understand this so here we call our parser function remember what i told you guys that parser does parser works with a compiler and breaks our code into methods into into nouns verbs and nouns now you know nouns are objects verbs are methods so it breaks our codes and a parser like i said i also also checks to ensure that all the necessary inputs has been provided so then the next file that will be created will create our putcard.c file to create our putcard.c file so let's go so this is our putcard function you know in lx we used a customized putcard putcard with an underscore if you use it without defining what it is Without defining it in a file, defining creating a special file for it and defining it, your it will be recognized in C program because what C, what um C program normally use is normal put car, not underscore. So for this, we created a customized put car. Here we call the write function. As you all know, as the name goes, write function is used to write the file descriptor. So in other words, the words it is used to write. In other words, just write files, file names without specifying file names. Yeah. So the write function can also be attempted to write and bytes from the buffer pointed to by buffer to the file associated with the open file descriptor. So you can audio post um a resource for that, a link to a resource that you can read on write functions. I believe you guys have done this. So as if you have been doing your task on your own in areas, this should be easy. Understanding the right function. So then let's go over to to let's open our let's open our the print f open the print file. Then the next one should be our main dot c file. So let's go over to our main dot c file. So this is a main.c file. In our main.c file, we have a main.h, three header files, main.h, main.h, and stdi.h. Then this is just this is our main file. So in our main file, we are calling two functions: the main printf function and the customized one we created. You can see here, this is the customized our customized printf which LBS told us to create. We call the function here. Then this is the normal printf function from in the stdio.h header file. So this is the one we created. You can see that we are printing the same thing twice here. You can, you can see this one, this is printf. Then here, here we're printing the same thing here with the normal printf function. So if this code runs well, our result is going to display this, going to display exactly the same thing for both, showing that our customized printf works the same way like the the normal printer from stdi.h file. So this is it. We use this to check if our code works. After executing our file, we will see the result. So let's go over to our parser.c file. Remember what I told you guys that a parser file is. So let's go and and open our parser.c file. So this is our parser.c file. And this is the prototype provided by LX for this. So, you know, a person receives the main string and all the necessary parameters to print a matter string. Then, this format, format is a string containing all the desired characters. That's what it is. Then, the font list, this function list here, 
this here fun list what it does is it's a list of all the possible functions it contains all the functions then the args args the list containing all the parameters passed to the programs then already know what return is so this is our faster.c file so remember i told you guys faster.c it checks our code to make sure that all the necessary inputs have been provided so why using um printf this parser that works in background on a normal situation if you're not if you are using a normal printf even not, not just normal printf you're just coding they are the parser file parser works with compiler so here ls2 wants us to create us and this is the file of it this is the file so can remember to watch the video i asked you to watch so you can grab a better understanding of it you need to watch videos on list in order to have a better understanding and you can subscribe to my channel to check out videos because i will post videos on valleys by god's grace by next week if i have chance because i work and i really really have a limited time to myself so then let's now go to our main.h file and paste all this. I've already pasted the name just show you guys because and um, this pick um typing it will be time consuming. So let's go and leave it. So this is our main.h file. So we have here and remember that in variety functions there are we really use truck nodes in variety functions. So instead of including it in all our codes, we have to include it um add it here so that we don't have to be in adding it in all our codes. So um this is our prototypes. Our prototypes are well defined here. So this is our main function uh main dot. So let's now go and compile our code to see if we did the right thing. Let's compile our code. I don't know this. This is going to sometimes enhance my system. Now let's now compile our code. So to compile, we compile the code together with G with gcc and all the files dot c all the file ending with c hope it works yes so so we now we now have our a dot out now let's now execute our a dot out a dot out can see remember we have our in our main dot c file when i showed you guys where we have our print f the the normal print f and the one we created you can see that yeah, we are printing we are printing duplicate 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 items here. One is for the one we created and the other one is for our the normal print F. You can see that our code worked perfectly well. It worked perfectly well. We did the right thing. So don't forget to like this. If you like the video, if the video really helped you in solving your task, don't forget to hit the like button and also to subscribe to my channel and Again, I will post this code. I will post it in the comment section so that you can, if you find it confusing, you can always look at it. And if you find anything confusing in the code, please don't forget to add a comment and add it in the comment section so that I will clarify it. So thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Bye-bye.